All right, time for some solo gathering in the black zone. Same deal as last time with the bow of Bedon. For some easy PvP situations, if I happen to find some highly enchanted mists, I'm once again going to try to go to this area here, which is packed with high tier maps. Otherwise, I will take a different route next time because the last couple of runs it was very difficult for me to reach these areas the farthest i've gotten was wet grave swale i believe because there are quite a lot of ganking groups there last try to walk towards this area but i'm generally just being very flexible. In 39 minutes until this height stack spawns. Uh, generally, I'm being just very flexible, taking roads of Avalon portals, going to random other high tier maps, and just seeing what I can find. Once again, I'm just going to take. 6.1 resources. I will take a tier 6 hide, I believe. I won't. I will. I will take a look at how valuable 6.1 wood is. I do have tier 6 journals with me, except stone, of course. Stone, I just got some tier 7 stuff. So I will just gather basically tier 7 equivalents. Meaning 6.1, 5.2. I will also take 4.2 resources, except from wood and stone. Because they are simply very light. They do not take up a lot of carry weight. Okay, I'm slowly getting close to the tier 7 desert already. I may already find some resources there. And my invisibility is enough to reach the tier 7 map, which is very interesting. But I have a very fast mount right now. There is a roads portal. But one thing I've noticed in the last couple of runs is that resources do not really exist in the roads. <laughs> So I'm only going to take roads portals when I have to or when I'm looking for quick ways to get closer to some towns. Three pieces. Interesting. Worth slightly more than 1k and the person the person is not very interested in me again 3 out of 5 if I came here with full height gathering gear I may have gotten a lot of money Another one. And this time it's even enchanted. Three out of five. Those are interesting numbers. Should be a little bit of loot. Haven't really seen any people yet either. So I don't know if this map is dangerous right now, but it may be. It is possible. 6.1 ore is definitely worth more than 1k per piece. So I should take it with this approach. Do not have too much carry weight, but I can still always...
change my boots to carry weight as well. Three out of five, once again. Two out of five. <laughs> Not too terrible. Don't want to get hit by the slow. Because the slow is uh, rather strong and also lasts quite long. Getting chased in such a situation would be pretty bad. Bedon being very handy <laughs> when fighting hyenas, interrupting their spell casts. Put on reduction on my assassin jacket is exactly what I want. Four out of five. I did find a lot of tier six hide in here. I have to admit that. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I would have the option to stay in this map and just gather tons of tier 6 hide actually. That would be an option. And then just return. Because I'm not very far away from the Limhurst, Lexon City, portal thing, whatever. But my plan is kinda to go pretty deep and find some tier 8 resources. Didn't see any tier 7 stuff in that map. A rather dead map here, a rather inactive map. Perhaps finding some tier 3 mobs or some enchanted wisps. I actually don't know if wisps in higher level areas are more valuable than the ones in low level areas. I don't know if there is a difference. Would be kinda interesting. I also would like to find the tier 8 mist. I haven't gotten one yet. That would be quite nice. I still have cooldown, so I'm not going to go for that one moose there. The tree is unlocking in 5 hours. Let's see how valuable wood is. It is worth more than 1k, so... I'll take it. Mm. I'm not sure if this wolf has any pieces. Let's see. 1 out of 5 only. So I'm not going to kill these animals if they are close to corpses of their own type. There is a circle in this map. And this map is also a tier 7 map which is kinda nice. But it seems like people have been gathering here. Well, somebody has just been killing mobs. Resource mobs. Maybe accidentally within a fight, but I don't see any bodies lying around you. Mm. 6.1 once again. There it's also 22% enchantment in this map, so... Maybe I'll find some 6.3. 5.3 would also be fine. I would definitely take that as well. Even stone. Stone on 5.3 is worth roughly about 5.3, uh, 1k silver actually per piece. Getting a nice little lag here. Tier 7 tree. Is that worth more? Ugh. The random mob there being annoying.
Is that worth more than 1k per piece? It is. It is. So I will take it. It is quite heavy though. Maybe I should gather in this map and then go back to the tier 7 desert. And just fill all my carry weight and bring back the loot. Maybe I will do that depending on how much stuff I find here. Base loot also being worth more than 1k per piece. I'm finding quite some resources. There's no corpse right next to this one. There's some 6.1 hide lying on the floor. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if I can find some more resources. The wisp is only common. Sadly. 50% carry weight already. Let's see how many resources I find in this map. If I get to like 70% carry weight, I will turn around and go to the tier 7 desert. And just take the some tier 6 hide there. And then bring back the loot. Activating my helmet before mounting up. In case of finding a mob, but I didn't. I feel like I'm finding more resources than usual. That's pretty nice here, and that's actually some money. quite some resources. Using gathering gear here would actually be worth it. There's a corpse. So I'm going to dodge that one. The circle is just chilling at the territory. I'm not finding enchanted mobs though. Enchanted. like tier 3 or tier 2 at least. I'm not finding any of that. But quite some resources. Whoa! 60% carry weight. I think I'm going to do what I have just proposed. Just gathering all the good stuff here and then turn back and just start the run once again. There is a T2 mob. There's one annoying mob right next to it. I would have liked to kill that one with AoE. Can I do that? I didn't hit it. Can I pull it into this? I wasn't able to. Because the small mob is actually dealing damage. Shouldn't underestimate it. Underestimate that. Should always kill it first. Relatively easy mob though. But it's only tier 2 as well. And I'm using almost 
Cię na imię. Twelve hundred fame. Uh, one hundred twenty thousand fame actually. And sixteen K silver. Pretty valuable and not too hard. Okay, there's a corpse. Let's dodge that. There's a person on a tier three horse with presumably tier four gear. There's a dismounted person probably doing PVE. I found a lot of 6.2 wood, I must say. This map really seems to be rather full with resources. The circle is really not moving away from the hideout uh, territory. Are they actually doing stuff in there? Are they killing these these crystal mages or however they are called? Oh, I need to run out of that, but I didn't manage to do it. This one spell did so much damage, it's insane. So hard to dodge. Oh! Ah, oh, god. This position here is so bad. Oh. And I really have to dodge this one spell of him. Oh, going down while doing PvE, so terrible. So terrible. Costs money, costs time, and it's basically a suicide. There's really not too much space here, but I can run around this mob in a circle here. And I definitely should do that. Now I dodge this spell. This one spell deals like 50% of my health. And I'm using the tier 9 armor. It's just insane damage. Like, look at this. This mob doesn't deal any damage. Except with that one spell. And once again, I wasn't able to dodge it because I was doing a standard attack right in that moment. Annoying. Got a book. And three dead animals lying next to it. 69% carry weight. Time to turn back. I mean, I can still change my boots. Oh, this one is rare. This one is rare. It's a 2v2 mist. Sandy. And it's a tier 8 map. It's a tier 8 map. Um, let's just run around and look for... Look for tier 8 resources. Just just going straight for tier 8 resources only. Going full defensive, I'll keep my Fort Sterling cape. Because it's a tier 8 map. I'll just go for tier 8 gathering. 
Is this one of these special? Special mods? It may be. I have no idea. It seems like it is only normal tier 8 mob here in the mist. Doesn't look like... It was a dragon hawk. But I'm actually getting tier 8 resources. Ace. I can even throw away tier 6 resources if I want to. Or tier 7 resources. If I find enough of the tier 8 stuff. Because it's just so much more valuable. It has like 50% more weight, but it is worth uh, like four times the price. Actually got a tier 8 map. But this is a dual map, I have to be very careful. I have a great mount for getting away. But still dangerous. Still pretty dangerous. I do need to be very careful. There can also be like 8.3 people. The, the most dangerous thing for me, of course, are invisibility gangs. If I'm mounted up, I should be pretty damn safe. But this means I have to pay very close attention to the borders of my screen. I think I will stay on the knockback on my helmet. Killing mobs here really isn't too hard. Already got 120k from this beautiful thing. And finally getting some more levels on my tier 8 gathering. Haven't found too much tier 8 resources. the last couple of runs. Okay, tier 8, tier 8. I will mainly ignore tier 7 resources. Maybe, maybe I will take... Ah, this one is tier 6, never mind. Maybe I will take tier 7 and tier... Uh, tier 7 fiber and tier 7 hide. Especially from these special mobs. But I don't think I'm going for tier 7 fiber. This should not be worth it. I found that a lot of resources are usually up next to the exits. So maybe I'll check out the exits. Maybe that's not the case in here. Tier 8, tier 8, tier 8. Actually making money by gathering again. Even getting the gathering bonus. Nice. Hawk pie working together <coughs> with a couple of levels that I have. Tier 7. Tier 8. Mm, I have been checking this place here. So I think I will go to the south now. I could also check out the west first. <laughs> the south would probably have been more efficient. Would probably have been smarter. Who knows? I 
not too many resource spots here. Nice. Four out of eleven. Even. Crazy. Hopefully this elemental is not going to annoy me. Changing position a little bit, hoping that this will discourage it from attacking me. Definitely going to take 7.1 fiber and, e and every other 7.1 resource. Even though 7.1 basalt is only worth 2.7k, which is kind of sad for a basically tier 8 resource. Maybe I'll even find some enchanted tier 8 resources, then I really would get rich. Some 8.2 or something. Some 8.2 resource mob. Ah, this feels good. Tier 8 gathering. This is a full gatherer. Using resistance potions. Interesting. A tier 8 gatherer. Somehow randomly finding this map. 7.2. Hopefully this guy doesn't gank me with invisibility now. That would be annoying. That would be really annoying. Should I be careful about these things? Are people running around with gathering gear and ganking gear? Here? I have no idea. Sadly only got one piece of the 7.1 wood. Any more high tier resources in this place? It's kinda sad that I have such competition here but I guess that's just normal so in five minutes it's closing I'm just going to gather until I'm getting thrown out because it seems like I do not uh, suffer from any penalty when getting thrown out of the mist I'll just take all this good stuff long as it is possible and then I'm definitely going to return to town afterwards looking for some more tier 8 resources a lot of wisps in here that's more than I usually see maybe because it's a 2v2 mist maybe because it's very inactive generally right now. There's a tier 2 mob. But I'm rather going for resources right now, I think. It's a tier 6 wolf only. A lot of wisps. Finally, a tier 8 resource again. Didn't find too many in the last couple of seconds. eight resources. I will need to refresh my pork pie somewhere soon, definitely. I may get overweight if I don't do that. All these wisps I'm seeing over oh, tier 3 mob, that would probably be worth it. Tier 3 mob in a tier 8 map. I probably should kill that. It's a lot of fame and has a high chance to drop something valuable. And it should be an easy one. I cannot change my food to do this. I'm going to eat one pork pie preemptively. 
going to change to damage on my bow. We'll have an easier time. Uh, where was the mob? It was here somewhere, right? Here it is. Need to kill the random mob that's next to it. And I need to dodge all. Oh, I didn't dodge that spell. Uh, do I reset now? My helmet doesn't work against this mob. I think I reset now. I think I should reset this once. And I think I have to take the damage on my helmet. This place here is pretty good for dodging, even though this being a hill is very annoying. Everything and just use my boots on cooldown for the regeneration. I think I have to pull this mob out of there because then it's weaker. 51 seconds only. Going to have my spells up quite often though. Dodge. 30 seconds only. I don't exactly know what these areas do. Oh, I was scared for a moment that it would reset. It's very close. Okay. Two books, 110k in silver cash, and now I'm getting kicked out. Definitely worth it to kill it. It gave me 110k in cash. Switch to Fort Sterling. Switch to my jump. And let's head back towards home. Got some, quite some nice loot. A tier 8 mist map. Finally. Finally. A small chest opening in 45 seconds. There was a circle in this map before. Wait a second, there's marble. There's marble, I need to remember this place. There is indeed marble. Let's look at the chest. Maybe nobody's there. And I'll just get some free loot. 17 seconds, so I can take some... ...tree... ...before. And there is nobody. And it's purple. And it's an tier 8 map, so it's better, right? 400k. I don't know what's valuable in here. But it seems like I have looted whatever was valuable. This thing is not valuable. Ah, okay, it does count the... Um, what's it called? The, the the silver bags nowadays, that's why it was showing 400k. There was a moose, but I want to go to the tier 8 stone first. And I'm just going to ignore the moose. Oh, now I triggered all the mobs. Well, it's going to be some solid thing. We do have real fighting gear equipped 10 out of 11 now this is going to be a good run this is going to be a good run <coughs> i just need to survive the way back 
I mean, I can also teleport, of course. But I would prefer to go back into the tier 7 desert and also take a few tier 6 heights while running backwards. Should be way more efficient that way. Very nice, very nice. Tier 8 mist. And very inactive maps here all around. Tier 8 resources are the only resources that are still very valuable. All the other resources have gone down so much. The tier 8 resources are still very, very good. No matter which one. Even though some are better than others. Mainly speaking about fiber and hide. Marble ore and wood are pretty equal on 8.0. But there are differences when it comes to enchanted ones also. Enchanted marble is like the worst tier 8 enchanted resource. Nice loot, nice loot. And I didn't even fill my books yet. Though uh, this amount of books definitely is enough. For what I'm doing right now, right here. And some more here, right? I have spent quite some time here in the west and I didn't find any tier 8 resources. I didn't even realize that this map was a tier 8 map. Up until I found the marble actually. Somehow this slipped my mind. I thought this was a tier 7 map the whole time. Now I filled the... Uh, wood journals. So basically I probably should take three journals with me when I run around with this horse. Money, money, money. Tier 8 resources on my way back. Should I check out the southern corner there? Teleporting costs 200k. There was a moose, but I'm at 95% carry weight already. So I probably want to limit myself to better resources right now. 5.1 stack. Now teleporting is 30k cheaper. Or maybe only 25k. The circle is not even a small one, huh? People are doing stuff. But I mean it's a real fortress. It's not just some small castle. So you probably need some decent amount of people. I have been doing one of these big fortresses once. I mean the the PvE in there is not that hard. You could also do that with a couple of 8.3 people. That's not the problem. But if you get attacked from another Zerg, you probably don't want to be standing around there with 10 8.3 people. That's probably not worth it. Okay, tier 7 map. 7.2 hide. Oh, that's really valuable. That is indeed really valuable. 
I really should not be going for this. Hmm. <laughs> Everything seems so inactive. But I, I'll, I'll not be going for this. Let's be honest. 7.2 height, that's insane. I can't just gather it. It would also take so long to gather it. It's so risky. I would survive normal ganks, but I wouldn't survive an invisibility gank. I can't survive an invisibility gank. That's not possible. Oh god. How many people are ganking with invisibility here? 7.2 height, somebody should be there. Somebody should be contesting this. This is really valuable. There's a person. He's in a group. And he had a grave guard armor and a mace. So he really is a ganker. Who knows if these people gank with invisibility, but still, oh, an 8, uh, 7.3 mob, this is so valuable, but there is a ganking group playing here. Do I want to risk it? It's so valuable. Oh god. Nobody knows that I'm here. I uh, got everything on the appropriate... I do have to kill this thing here. Oh, and I have to touch every single spell, which I didn't, so I have to reset. And now I have cooldowns, which is kind of annoying. There's a person. Just a scout. He doesn't know that I'm doing it, so this was actually some very lucky timing. There's another person who doesn't know that I'm doing it. But there are a lot of people running around here. I think I'm skipping this. Too many people are running around there. Okay, from here. I want to go to the southwest. A pretty rough, rough way. Hmm. I don't know, 20k to teleport now only. But with a gallant toss I will probably be able. Oh, I need to change my double. W. Really need to do that. Safety first. I'm packed right now. Oh, that's a lot. And I don't have my bow of the dawn right now. So I need to use my boots to dodge the damage over time effect. Ah, and now I got hit by the damage over time effect. This area is so annoying here. There's no space at all. <laughs> was kind of to be expected when I have all these corpses there lying around. There are no corpses here though. Can I jump out of this? I can. Nice. Nice and uh, efficient. And I even got a level. No, I just reached a learning point threshold for the both of them. But I did get four levels, I believe. I think I started on 43 when I started this run. One moves. And there's another one. Can I reach this? I can. Ninety-nine percent carry weight already. 
100%? Can I get one more? I couldn't. It was too much. Uh, let's throw away one basil. And let's get out of here. Teleporting cost 120 cases. 6.2. With most likely more than one piece. I'll just use this worth some money. So I'll just throw away some thing for that. I got two. Got five. Split. Throw away. Okay. Hmm. Probably worth it to do it like that. Having a plus of like 30k for a tiny bit of work. Probably worth it. There are quite some big groups running around. No, not really ganking groups. I mean, I saw this mace player with the graveguard armor. That really screams like ganking group. Hello, I'm a ganker in a big group because the mace player with that helmet and this armor will not do anything alone. You would lose every 1v1. People are chasing me, kind of. Maybe. A tier 3 mob. People don't know that I'm here. So let's go for it. It's much easier. So it's of course also worth less. Of course. He can channel this spell. But he can't channel the other spell. Weird. It's uninterruptible man, while he channels the knockback spell. One K fame and a book. And 36k silver. Definitely worth it. Time to switch to the jump again. And let's get out of here. For PvE I probably also should change the passive to the armor shred. Yep. For PvE I definitely should change this. As a standard I'm using the slow on the normal attack. Because in PvP I would not be attacking too much with standard attacks. Would be rather hard to get these five standard attacks that are necessary to proc it onto such a person. I did get 46k. No, 36k silver from this one, 110k silver from the other tier 3 mob. Kinda would want to count that in to my profit. Pretty nice run. Pretty nice run. 1.61 million and that in 47 minutes. That's good loot, that's more than 2 million per hour.